my cell phone is used for both business and personal use. How do I indicate business use on a tax form? You want to hit this one? Uh, well, uh, from my point of view is if you're required to have a cell phone for business, I'm going to expense the whole thing. All right. Here's where it becomes really important. It's this term accountable again. If your business says, Jeff, you need to have a cell phone because we like to call you at night or whenever you're wandering mm -hmm. around, if you're going between locations, I need you to have that. It is 100% now uh, not going to be personal. It is now going to be 100% business because it's for the convenience of the employer. And you don't have to worry about how much business use there is. If you do not have an accountable plan, and this is just you, your business, so you're Mr. Sole Proprietor or Mrs. Sole Proprietor, then you have to say what percentage is business and what percentage is personal, and you have to take that total bill and divide it. So if you're a sole proprietor, you're divvying it up. You're having to look at it. Now, I don't want you to have to do that. I don't want you to have to worry about that, so we're never gonna recommend you to be a sole proprietor. Like, it's just not gonna happen, because from all three areas we look at, which is asset protection, tax, and estate planning, you're 0 for 3. There's no reason to do it. Now, if you are one of those people, then you need to be tracking this, that personal percentage. You can't say it's all 100% business. It's just impossible. Unless you have two cell phones. You can say, here's my business phone, here's my personal phone, or you have two lines, in which case you're going to be able to write off a portion of it. If you want to write it all off, make sure you have an S or a C Corp reimbursing you under an accountable plan.